Americana Great Gorge Resort here in McAfee, New Jersey, as Don King Productions proudly present a scheduled 10 round featherweight bout. The judges, John Stewart and Tommy Kazmarek. The timekeeper, DeBell, is Justin Buchanico. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee, Vinny Rainoni. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10 round featherweight bout, referee Larry Hazard. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the green trim, he is weighing in at 126 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman is undefeated in 16 professional bouts with 11 knockouts. From San Diego, California, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome sweet Irving Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the yellow trunks with the red and green trim, he is weighing in at 126 and one quarter pounds. This young man has a record of 13 wins, one loss with 10 big knockouts. A native of Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Boxing fans, here is Azuma Nelson. <laughs> Nelson. The referee is Larry Hazard, and he will issue the final instructions to the boxers. No, holding, no pushing, no unnecessary wrestling. Watch the illegal use of the head. Watch the low blows. When I give you a command, I want you to stop punching. Step back. In case of a knockdown. Fighter's going to knockdown. Go to the father's neutral corner. Remain in that corner until I tell you to come out. Fighter going down, you must take a mandatory eight count. Three knockdown ruling has been waived, and the bell cannot save either of you if you go down toward the end of a round. Do you have any questions? Okay, shake hands. Come out fighting at the bell. Well, both fighters weighed in at 126 and one quarter pounds, just a quarter over the featherweight limit. 24-year-old Nelson stands 5'5". Mitchell with the height and commensurate reach advantage, standing at 5'9", with 70 and a half in the reach department. He is 23 years of age, born in Lafayette, Louisiana, and now living in Bonita, California. Nelson has been uh, training here in the U.S., uh, for a, a couple of months, coming back after his impressive show against Salvador Sanchez and uh, hopes to uh, work and uh, fight here in the United States to improve his boxing against the stiffer competition he can get over here. He's 13-1 and one with 10 knockouts, the only loss coming in the title fight against Salvador Sanchez. Mitchell, 16-0 and 0 with 11 knockouts. His last outing was a 10-round decision over Bernabe Montanez. And there's that aggressive start by Nelson in goal. 20-foot ring here in New Jersey, scoring on the round system with a supplemental five-point point system uh, if there is a draw. Good flurry by Irving Mitchell, scoring to the body of Nelson. Azuma Nelson, 50-2 and two as an amateur, the 1978 African and Commonwealth gold medalist. Also the 1979 World Military Games gold medalist and Turned professional following those games in 1979. Currently the African and Commonwealth featherweight champion. Surprisingly, Mitchell is fighting flat-footed in the first round, Tim. You'd think that he'd be going side to side and try to make Nelson move, move the way he wants him to move, but he's standing flat-footed. He's looking to nail, nail Nelson. Mitchell, likewise, an outstanding amateur career. Won the silver medal in the 1980 Olympic trials and was the 1980 All-Service and All-Army champion. And also won two gold medals in international competition for the U.S. team in 1980. Can't beat that amateur competition. We've seen so many in this past several weeks. Outstanding amateurs who are young professionals now and showing uh, a lot of maturity because of that extensive amateur background. Well, Tim, amateur boxing is like high school, and then when they be... Whoop. When, oh. it, there's that oh, no. short ring apron, Tim. We've mentioned it before. It's very, very dangerous. A fighter could break his leg at any time. I don't know why they allow this ring to be used. The ring apron is just very, very dangerous. It's less than uh, 15 inches. I would say it's uh, maybe one foot on the outside of that apron, and it was not a knockdown. Mitchell was backing away from Nelson, but he just slipped on the canvas, right, and him out. his him out, Mitchell. foot extended right over the apron. Under a minute to go, round one. Anyhow, Tim... Amateur boxing is like high school, and then you graduate to college when you go in the pros. And if, and if you're a good student in high school, you usually become pretty good in college. It's the same, same thing follows with boxing. If you're a good amateur, usually you can become a good pro. 
Nelson on the left of your screen and go. 15 seconds remaining, round number one. Coming to the end of this first round, scheduled for 10, featherweights Azuma Nelson and Irving Mitchell. <laughs> round number two, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy at the Americana Great Gorge Resort, McAfee, New Jersey. You're looking at sweet Irving Mitchell on the left of your screen in white trunks and Azuma Nelson in gold. Nelson from Accra, Qatar. In Mitchell's corner, Tim, they told him to stop moving and move side to side and use that good long right jab that he has. Now, again, let's see if he follows instructions or if he wants to stand and punch with Nelson. And short with the left hand lead. Nelson, a member of the Ga tribe, and uh, speaks that language and four other tribal languages in addition to English. Warning for a low blow to Nelson from referee Larry Hazard. Hazard will score the fight, along with the judges Tom Kazmarek and John Stewart, both from the state of New Jersey. and backing up Mitchell with that right hand. One thing we've seen early is uh, that Nelson will stand there in a flurry and not, not back up at all. I go to head, right Nelson. Back. I go to head. Nelson gets, gets his punches off from a completely flat-footed standing still position, Tim. If he got a, a little more rhythm, if he started moving his head a little bit more, it would bother Mitchell and he would be able to punch a little better and a little quicker. Now he's starting to move his head. First time in the fight. Under a minute to go, round two. Working his corner, American trainer Bobby Lewis. Giving him some help since uh, he has been training here in the United States. Digs that left to the body of Irving Mitchell. He's starting to get that rhythm now. Side to side with the head and shoulders. This room's like a jury in here at the moment. The cabaret room of the Americana Resort. The audience has been a little slow to get into the rhythm of the fight here. Under 30 seconds to go in the second round. Some of the people are sitting here like they're hypnotized, man. <laughs> Crash the cymbals or something. <laughs> Maybe they came to see Laney Kazan out of final seconds of the second round. <laughs> Round number three, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy, live from the cabaret room of the Americana Great Gorge Resort. Later today, you'll be seeing Leon Spinks and Jesse Burnett battling it out for the vacant NABF Cruiserweight Championship here on CBS Sports Sunday. And following our featherweight action here, we're going to have two middleweights, upcoming James Kinchin against the veteran Ralph Moncrief. Lots more boxing ahead this afternoon. Azuma Nelson in gold, sweet Irving Mitchell in white. Third round, scheduled for 10. Nelson ranked number three in the world by the World Boxing Council, number 10 by Ring Magazine. Irving Mitchell is number nine, rated by the WBC. Mitchell, we've seen often working with Alexis Arguello, has often been a sparring partner for Arguello. He is trained by Wes Wambold. Jerry Farrell and Dick Wambold also in the corner. Get up first. Ooh, good solid left hand by Mitchell. Well, it looked harder than it was, Tim. He caught Nelson off balance. It was a clean punch, but it wasn't, a, not, wasn't too much kicking. Looked like he was trying to pull away from it. Ooh, there's a left of the body by Mitchell. Mitchell has 11 knockouts in 16 fights, but I don't think he's regarded in the featherweight ranks as a huge puncher. Now 
Nice combination by Mitchell. Again, Nelson is not moving his head. He's walking straight in, straight up. Not moving that head at all. Right there. Oh, now it starts, starting in the middle of the round, same as last round. He starts to give his rhythm, starts to move his head. And and go, for the go, body. He's doing better down there, too. Mitchell took a right hand as he, he was careless coming off that break, and he paid for it. Nelson let him have it with a right hand. Another right hand scored by Nelson. Under 30 seconds to go in the third round. Mitchell thought he had had a low blow, a blow or a, that the referee was going to be there on that break, but he had his hands down. He got whacked. Well, you know, Nelson was fighting for a while as if he was hypnotized, the same as the audience, but he woke up all of a sudden. That's what he has to do to beat Mitchell, put the pressure and keep it on him. Final seconds of the third round. Featherweight, Azuma Nelson in gold, Irving Mitchell in white. Round number four, Azuma Nelson in gold, Irving Mitchell in white. Mitchell from Benita, California, born in Louisiana. Azuma Nelson from Accra, Ghana. Left to the body by Nelson. Very impassive looking young man. He just seldom changes expression, bores in. Hasn't backed up yet. Looked like Mitchell was thinking about switching around on him. Tim, for Mitchell to win this fight, he's going to have to start being a little more aggressive. He, he, he always waits. He waits for the other fellow to make a mistake, and he tries to counter. He has that long right jab. He should be snapping it out there and really and now we're overworking the... it. Nelson drives Mitchell into his own corner. out, avoiding the worst of that assault. Then we have another one of those fights. It's very, very difficult to score. Well, I've got a favor Nelson too. I've given him the first three rounds, the first one close, but, but he's been uh, forcing the fight, and even though uh, Mitchell has counterpunched some, I don't think he's counterpunched enough effectively to, to uh, be ahead on the judges' cards, but, you know, as we always say, you never know how judges are seeing the fight. Under a minute to go in the fourth Any, round. Anytime you have two fighters with the completely contrasting styles the way these two fellows are, you're going to have problems with your judges. You know, there are judges that are known as, that they, you know ahead of time that they like aggressive fighters. There are other judges that like boxers, and managers know that, you know. And occasionally they'll go to the commission if their fellow's an aggressive fighter, and they'll request that the judge not be used, who they kn know does not like that type of fighter. And it, believe me, it affects the scoring, and it can affect the guy's future. There may be a judge that really likes the moves that, the, that Mitchell is making right now. And again, another one may like the fighter that walks in. Under 30 seconds to go in the fourth round. We're down to the 20-second mark now. Mitchell and White. Nelson and Gold. Nelson doing the stocking. Mitchell the counterpuncher. Coming to the end of the fourth round. Featherweight serving Mitchell and Azuma Nelson. Live from McAfee, New Jersey. Round number five from the... Americana Great Gorge Resort. We're in the Cabaret Theater. And, Gil, I just figured out the audience here uh, for this fight. It's Halloween, and I think they're all still wearing their masks. That may be it. Well, we're, we're not seeing that great enthusiasm so far. Mind you, a, a solid flurry by both fighters would, uh, would bring the crowd alive, and I'm sure most of them are here waiting for Leon Spinks. We remind you who will be coming up later this afternoon on CBS Sports Sunday in a Cruiserweight Championship bout, the North American title at stake against Jesse Burnett. Oh, yeah. Irving Mitchell and White, Azuma Nelson from Ghana in gold. <laughs> Solid right hand by Nelson, back up Mitchell. Trying to spring to the advantage. Nelson forcing Mitchell across the ring. 
Oh, we landed one punch to the body. No more damage. Another good right hand of the body. Guess the Mitchell by Nelson. Nelson really forcing the issue now. Every punch in that last word. And with both these fighters in the top ten, it's very, very important. It's a very, very important fight for both fighters. Both in the top ten. One guy's going to advance and probably get a title shot, and another guy's going to be put back in line. Come on, Zuma Nelson rated number three, and mainly on the strength of his impressive showing against Sanchez in the championship fight, even though he lost. And Mitchell ranked number nine by the World Boxing Council. Come on, no holding. Let him out. Let him out. Step back. Left hand to the head by Nelson. Staggered Mitchell. in trouble Four, here on the fifth round five, six gets seven, to his feet he is still eight, wobbly referee referee Larry has we're taking a close look at him ask him if he's all right Mitchell says yes under a minute to go on the fifth round then he Nelson. has to be wobbly he walked right towards Nelson when you're hurt you should be walking away and it's over Larry Hazard has stopped the fight takes the mouthpiece out of Mitchell and Mitchell uh, angry that it's been stopped but Larry Hazard Perhaps seeing the same thing you did, uh, Gil, that uh, he had walked right back into the punishment, being uh, meted out by Azuma Nelson, and a very upset Irving Mitchell has suffered his first defeat, and he is naturally distraught, saying that he could continue. But Larry Hazard, the referee, felt otherwise. And so a technical knockout scored by Azuma Nelson in the fifth round of a scheduled 10-rounder. And there is the calm young man, still looking very calm indeed, from Accra, Ghana. Let's go back and see the knockdown one more time. You'll see Nelson in goal, and it's kind of a wild punch is the one that sends him down the first time. A right hand, well, it wasn't as wild as I thought. It was a pretty good right hand. Down goes Mitchell, and now we'll see that knockdown punch from a different angle. Well, you notice how awkward both fighters look, and that is because of the fact that Mitchell is a southpaw. It changes everything around for a fighter when he is fighting a southpaw. But here you see that Nelson hasn't figured out, and he's about to clock him with this big right hand to change the entire fight around. And there it is, Tim, right on the button. It wasn't as awkward a punch as, as you thought it was. No, that's time. right. Uh, no, seeing it on the replay, it was a better punch than, uh, than I thought when we saw it live. And then, of course, uh, as soon as, uh, as Mitchell came right back at him, and Nelson clocked him again. Referee, and the referee stopped. Larry Hazard. Stop.